This is one bartender you don't have to tip. Cronkite News reporter Tim Johns was in Scottsdale to see how automation is affecting the restaurant and bartending business. This is Sorso Wine Room in Scottsdale Quarter, and this is its automated wine dispenser. Sorso's co-owner Mark Tian says he was on vacation with his wife in Italy after retiring from professional baseball when he first came across this type of technology. We didn't have much experience with Italian wine, so we really enjoyed our experience of going through and, and tasting a bunch of different varietals. Um, so ultimately when we decided to go down the path of opening a wine bar, this idea was kind of the center of that. And it's not just Sorso. Automated alcohol dispensers are popping up all over the valley and across the country. Market Watch says that bartending could be the net's job to become automated. Many establishments cite things such as time, money, and efficiency as some of the reasons why they're choosing to go automated. It's quicker for consumers, but will consumers miss that interaction with their friendly neighborhood barkeep? Joey Mills Villegas, the general manager at Sorso, says they're still keeping that personal connection. I think people do go out for conversation and human interaction. I think people could just cook at home if they wanted to avoid it that much. Since right now the automated machines only dispense wine and beer, not being able to provide mixed drinks are often mentioned as one of the drawbacks of automated bartenders. But being able to get yourself a glass of cheap Chardonnay without the bartender looking down his nose at you could be priceless. In Scottsdale, Tim Johns, Cronkite News. Source's automated wine dispenser has 32 wines from around the world for customers to choose from.